On behalf of the Gandhi Foundation of USA and our community here, uh, we welcome you and uh, Honorable D.V. Singh here, uh, Deputy Council General, uh, at the historic uh, Gandhi Room, which has, uh, which has uh, a history dating back to 1987. This room was refurbished with the help of the Embassy of India and especially the Ambassador P.K. Paul in 1987. Uh, on October 2, and uh, this room also was inaugurated by then uh, Mayor Andrew Young. Uh, we welcome you again and thank you for taking time out thank to be you, with us here in Atlanta. On the Honorable Sri Shivaji, Honorable Councillor General of India in the United States, Sri Dhambir Singh Ji, brothers and sisters. I am happy today to be here. I had uh, like a Martin Luther King Jr. I also had a dream to come one day to Atlanta to see this place of uh, King Jr. and Mahatma Gandhi. I have seen uh, some of them. And now I have garlanded Mahatma Gandhi also. And also we have put flowers on this, uh, what do you call it? Crypt. Crypt of Dr. King and Mrs. King. Uh, King and Mrs. King. Most important thing is that every day you come here to see what they wanted. Mahatma Gandhi and King Junior, that sufferings of untouchables and slaves should go. They should be, uh, they should come on a par with others. This is the most important thing. So now they suffered and they said something. Both Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. both were killed because of their selfless efforts to restore the human rights and dignity of slaves and untouchables. Now, you come and see here, but what you do? What you have done so far? Have you restored? or have rescued or helped any slips, not slips now, earlier slips and the earlier untouchables in India. In any way, if yes, then you are coming, you are paying homage, putting flowers, build work. But if not, then what is happening? What I see in India, even today, the untouchables are forbidden not to go to temple. If they want to go inside, they are protested and they are harmed. Even today, this is a problem. But I have come here to tell you that how I came to know the efforts of Mahatma Gandhi to restore the human rights and dignity of untouchables to bring them on a path with others. That is the story of my life. History is history. But would you like to know only the history or would you like to change the society? You want to make difference in the lives of the untouchables. In India, the untouchables had to clean one feces, the latrine, and to have the, all the food and other things. The living can say. And they had to face humiliation, insult, and drudgery by the society. One day I saw them, met them, discussed with them. And I tried to find out how it is possible. By talking alone will not work. Gandhi himself said, one ounce of action 
is more important than tons of knowledge. So, Gandhi himself had uh, written that till that I choose clean, night soil, nobody will have food with them. So to end this practice, I invented a simple technology. And that technology has made a difference in the life of the children. We have given them education, vocational education to earn their livelihood, help them to break the barriers of 5,000 years. They were forbidden to go to temple. Now, and I took them to temple. I took uh, worship deities. I was also object, uh, see, uh, objected and they also certainly put pressure on me not to go inside, but finally I succeeded. So this is very important that one by one, I have tried in my own way that now they live on a par with Brahmis and upper caste people. There are two towns in Al-Badalistan, there is no sense of untouchability. And they go freely to Brahmins' house, upper caste house, they sell pop down vehicles, they exchange food and presentries, and also they do faces of the women. That is most important that in my lifetime, Gandhi wanted one more life to rescue the untouchables. But I have done my own life and I am happy that I fulfilled the dreams of my life. Same way here, the slaves, now they are getting some uh, importance in the society, but not to the extent it required. Even today, there is a discrimination in the Western countries also, and also in India. But what we are doing, that government has to come forward, the people have to come forward, and they have to see, I've heard the speeches of uh, Martin Luther King Jr., and just see how strong the advice was to, uh, I guess, uh, this uh, oppression, I guess, the untouchables. So that is most important, that now we should work what I have done in the country, in the country, I fulfilled the dreams of Mahatma Gandhi. So that, but the story is not complete. We have to do more and more, and to see that um, the dream of Martin Luther King Jr. and Mahatma is fulfilled. With these words, I am thankful to all of you. And I am also thankful for the last one here. I would like to close the remarks. One second. No, no, no. I would like to close the remarks.